I am totally surrounded by beautiful plants that attract pollinators. Hi, I'm Peter from GardenWorks, and today I'm going to be planting up a planter that attracts pollinators to your garden. There are so many varieties to choose from, perennials to annuals to shrubs and trees. So this one in my hand is a salvia, very popular with, with pollinators. <coughs> this is coreopsis. There are lots of coreopsis, and they usually get yellow flowers, but there are a lot of different uh, coreopsis available. Also very attractive to pollinators. This is Napita, it's one of my favorites. It's super drought tolerant, yet it's a lilac flower and it's really attractive to, hum uh, not to hummingbirds, to bees. Butterflies and bees love this. So this is a cone flower, very beautiful plant, also very drought tolerant, gets these really crazy big cone flowers, lots of different flowers available, color colors available. Um, super attractive to hummingbirds and butterflies. This one is one of my favorites. It's Crocosmia, and the hummingbirds go crazy for this. This is a summer bloomer, so it'll be blooming probably in another month or so. Vivid red flowers. This one's called Lucifer. There are also a few other colors as well, usually yellows, oranges, and reds. Nemesia. Nemesia is also a really cute little annual. Gets lots of different colored flowers, very attractive to bees and, and uh, butterflies. This one has a beautiful fragrance. It's called Heliotrope very very beautiful flower it smells amazing and it's also very attractive to uh, bumblebees love it um, moths and, and butterflies just adore it and here's a beautiful plant for shade it's called a dicentra or bleeding heart it's it comes in a few colors as well this is a pink one there's a red one and there's a white one there's a few other colors as well super lovely plant and it is very attractive to hummingbirds hummingbirds will hover around this little guy and be very happy don't forget your native plants. This is a thimbleberry, beautiful big white flowers, and it gets a lovely berry on it. Lots of native plants that'll attract pollinators to your garden. Nicotiana is a really lovely plant, lovely bedding plant, gets quite a large into a quite a large plant. The big tobacco plants are also beautiful plants and they have big white flowers, super attractive to bees and, and pollinators. Um, loves the sun. Another salvia, beautiful salmon-y colored flowers. That'll be super attractive to hummingbirds. I'm almost afraid to talk about this plant because everybody wants this guy. This is called a kufia, kufia vermili, vermilionaire. Um, lovely plant, hummingbirds go gaga for this guy. I have a few on my patio and the hummingbirds just go crazy around it. One that I almost forgot is called a monarda or bee balm. This is a super popular plant, perennial. It'll grow quite large, you know, three or four feet tall, full of rosy pink flowers, rosy red pink flowers. Super, super attractive. Another salvia here I wanted to show you. This is an incredible color. This is an annual, but I brought it through another year. It's a perennial, but it's a tender, tender perennial. I've managed to bring it through from last year. So just a beautiful plant, big, glossy, healthy leaves, and this iridescent purplish fuchsia flowers. Never forget petunias. Petunias are super uh, attractive to um, hummingbirds. They love them. So do bees. And this one, if you have this one on your patio, in your garden, fuchsias. Fuchsias are really super, super attractive to hummingbirds. Hummingbirds will hover around them for hours at a time. Now that I've given you some ideas of what is available as pollinators, I'm going to put a planter together. So I've potted up 
a plethora of pollinating plants for your patio. I hope it inspired you, so enjoy your patio and your garden and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. <laughs>